Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me today continuing our Game Maker 8.1 tutorial and let's continue the game we make. So I'm going to reload it here and because I'm late, lazy and didn't make any spreads beforehand, we're going to need to work on a flag sprite real quick. And I just want to make sure that the it's 32 by 32 like I like because that's the way mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyways <sighs> sidetracked quickly you guys must hate it anyways so we just need to make a little end flag and file save as you make a tutorial and flag there we go let's import this sprite and flag right here and as I said at the end of the last tutorial um, today we're gonna be working on going from level to level within game maker and that's why we have the end flag set up so real quick we'll just create an empty object solid call it end flag and its sprite shall be the end flag of course and that's it there's nothing else I really care about and let's go to our player now in game maker um, as I said in the previous tutorial these rooms down here are actually they're, they're more so levels you know, each room is a level within your game. This can be like your menu scene, your uh, like any levels within the game. It could be like your world if you're making a giant scrolling world. So you know, it's it, that that's really what I meant when I said it's um it's your level. It's your level. Yeah, it is your level. That's what I meant. So we want to move from room to room. And right now, when we run our game, you can't. You just it's no, it doesn't happen. And when you collide, the room restarts because you know. And there's our score. The score did work. What are you guys talking about? <sighs> Anyways, so escape will exit it. But uh, we want to make it so we can go from level to level. So let's make a new room real quick and we'll call this uh, rename test level 2. And um, we'll just lay down our wall sprite and this is it here. And uh sorry that was my ipod ladies be seducing me but i'm busy right now we'll get to them after this so i'm using shift and the uh, left mouse button to lay down those tiles like it's a paintbrush like i said in the previous tutorial now let's make our player have our player here and we'll have our end flag here all right and let's make this the first room in the game so what what hap what what do we want to happen we want it so that when we collide with this end flag down here, we move to the next level. But right now, nothing's happening when we collide with it. Well, let's go make our collision event. Pretty easy, add event collision with our end flag. What do we want to happen when we collide with our end flag? Well, we want to go to the next level. We want to go to another level. So we're going to come down here to, is it main two? Yep, main two, and we have our rooms. So this stuff's really simple. We can return to the previous room I don't want that one we can go to the next room we do want that one and I wanna we can have all these effects for them too I want like I, I like fade out and in for, for and but see this is gonna cause a little problem but it's it's something big it's just something you need to be aware of so we run our game and actually we definitely so it's set in test level one let us set an end flag down here in the bottom corner saying we finished it and so we'll come over here and we go collide with our flag we go to the next level that's pretty slick huh and there are all kinds of room options you can go to certain rooms you can make it go to the next level but see what's going to happen here we're going to collide with this flag and it's going to be like fatal error and action number one if collision event with object and flag for object player moving to next room after last room there is no next room so when we try to go to the next room what will happen is there is no next room we're referencing something that doesn't ex exist and this program will crash from here so you know you, you look at this and um you just need to be aware of this you need to make sure you, you're trying to go to rooms that are there you need to make sure when you hit previous level there's like there has to be a previous level when you're doing all that stuff and so this this really adds for the basic mechanic of our game like we can really start working on um worlds now and, and i gotta zoom in correctly Try to get this. Yeah, here we go. Let's work. Let's actually make a level real quick. Cause you wanna know what? This game's actually semi fun. And then we'll just 
you get yeah, this high. And then just right if you if you lay down something just right click and delete it or shift and right click over it and that'll delete it. But what do I want to do? Add my left to right turtle here and add a couple up down turtles. Yeah, evil turtles. So now oh, this is gonna be too tall. Not gonna be tall enough, I meant. I'm gonna have to remake this. <laughs> um might have screwed up there. I'm not going to say I did or didn't. I'm going to say I might have. Delete. Delete. So four blocks, I think, is how tall we should make it like to get through. So that's, uh, and delete him. And whoop. Three. And then we need to get another left to right turtle in there. And I'm going to need to give him some more room. And... This is our left to right turtle. I hope so. It's so hard. Anyways, to like to remember which one's which. So we get here. Oh, no went too close to him. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness, I'm doing horrible at this game, and we made it. Well, I made it. Yeah, there's not enough room there. Let's reduce their speed by one. I think that'll give us just you know just enough. So we're gonna double click this let's change them to five same speed as the human and up down five they're going a bit too fast and you want to make this level you know able to be beaten yep so here we are we can sneak through this and you know you collide with one restarts you know pretty basic so from here you can start like you know making a game making levels you know you can make all kinds of cool stuff with this uh, I don't I don't really know how you do it like you know what really cool levels you'd add but uh, that's basically that's basically it for this tutorial pretty cool right moving from level to level made a real quick test level I'll see you guys later